Satan wants to destroy us. He wants to wipe you out. He wants to wipe your family out. He, he wants to destroy your ministry. He wants to destroy your calling. And there are evil people also that give themselves to him or work with him that want to destroy you. Or their motives are so mixed that, that you trust them and, and, and think they mean well, and, and they end up hurting you deeply. And you walk with the Lord long enough, you live in this life long enough, you do ministry long enough, you will be hurt. You will be betrayed. You will be let down. You, you, you will trust someone and that person will stab you in the back. It will happen. You stay around long enough, there will be the Judases. There will be those that are the false friends. There will be those with ulterior motives. And then sometimes we fall short and disappoint ourselves. But hear me, Satan, demons, the, the world, ungodly people that hate us and despise us and want to stomp us out and cancel us, <clears throat> or, or, or people that we get to know in the Lord, but their own sin and their own life brings them to a point where, where they hurt us. There are people who want to do us harm, and it will hurt. The harm is there. Joseph suffered. That's a reality. We cannot avoid it. Jesus said, John 16, in this world you will have tribulation. Expect it. Expect it. It's a reality. But be encouraged. I've overcome the world. And with him and in him we overcome. As Catherine Booth co-founded the Salvation Army with her husband William, as Catherine Booth said, as, as she was nearing death, she said, the waters are rising, but so am I. I'm not going under, but over. Let me say that again. For some of you, the waters are rising very high right now, and it looks like you're going to drown. Have the mentality of Jesus. In this world, there will be tribulation. But be encouraged. I have overcome this world. That means that we don't go under, we go over. And what I've found is the time when the waters go over me, and it seems like it's all over, and I'm not going to make it the way Paul describes it in 2 Corinthians 1, that, that we ourselves felt the sentence of death on ourselves in Asia. We thought, this is it. We're not going to make it out of this alive. He said, but this happened so that we wouldn't trust ourselves, but in the God who raises the dead. And I believe if we can grasp that, 